Hey folks, how you doing? This is the Wayne S. Spear Show podcast right here on the American Liberty Radio Network. Email me, American Liberal American Liberty, if I can say that word. American Liberty Radio at USA.com. American Liberty Radio at USA.com. See what happens when I don't have enough coffee. <laughs> So, anyway, lots of things going on Tuesday, the 7th of April, 2015. Lots of things in terms of, well, let's just say, the president seems to not care one bit about the Constitution. But, hey, you know, who am I to talk, right? I mean, this president's a legitimate president, isn't he? He's there. He's he's a citizen. He 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 does what he does, right? He he managed to do the right things and 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 cross the T's and dot the I's and everything and make it all better, didn't he? Didn't he? Huh? Anyway, got a lot to get into. I didn't get into a whole lot yesterday, but I did do a little bit of. Overdrive, so I thank you folks for listening to that. I want to uh, remind all of you that uh, the Views Express Live will be back at in a very short while. Okay? I, um, I, miss doing the live show but I also had to take a little break and pull it offline for a while and kind of retool it make it a little bit better so hopefully you'll like it I um, I want to I want to make sure that that <clears throat> when I get into the news here that you understand that this to me what is happening in the world should be on the minds of everybody I don't care who you are or where you live I don't care if you oppose anything I say and think that I'm just a whacked out nut job But I know that there are people out there who listen to my voice, who understand where I'm coming from. And again, I encourage people to use their to use their minds for what it was made for. Gather as much information as you can. Throw away the garbage. Keep what's really attached to you in some way and remember nothing is as what it seems so if you're going to disagree with anybody you better have everything you need because as far as the republic of america goes and the citizens therein we will triumph because we have the ability to do so and this is true with any other country who is fighting for peace freedom security and liberty in their country as well so i think it's time we step up to the plate and do the right thing be the shining example we once were and can be in the world today email me American Liberty Radio at USA.com. American Liberty Radio at USA.com. Go to my website, WayneSPierce.com. Check that out as well. Uh, support American Liberty Radio Network if you'd like, even sharing the show. So there you go. I will talk to you right after this break. This is the American Liberty Radio Network. Email us at AmericanLibertyRadio at USA.com. 
the reality underneath the honesty. Live Truth Radio with Brian Lang. LiveTruthRadio.com Radio Rock 92.6 The Blitz is your home for all the independent music and movies you need. For more information, go to RadioRockTheBlitz.blogspot.com What we see is not reality. It is distorted reality. Go to Distorted Reality with Nick Tucker on Facebook. Telling you the truth, whether you like it or not. The Pete Santilli Show on the Gorilla Media Network at GorillaMediaNetwork.com or GMN.is. Hey, folks, this is the Wayne Esper Show podcast right here for the 7th of April, 2015. How are you? You can email me at AmericanLibertyRadio at USA.com. AmericanLibertyRadio at USA.com. You can go to my website, WayneSPierce.com. Check that out. If you want to support the American Liberty Radio Network, you can. If you would, please, because I would appreciate it. And it would help the network get to the next level. And we want to do that. So, with your help, it can be done. So whatever you can do, please do. Thank you. Appreciate that. Even sharing the show. Even sharing the show. There's a, a, a lot that has gone on. Uh, in the last several weeks with President Obama, with his total uh, lack of, of respect for Israel, even though they aren't, uh, you know, out of the clear yet with a lot of stuff going on. Uh, if, if I know anything... Is that Israel isn't the saint in this, okay? The um, the current residents of that piece of land are not the original uh, people that should inhabit that land. Now, some people have said that the Palestinians are more owners of that land than the current Israeli people because of certain things that have gone on, okay? We're talking biblical, we're talking ages ago. Yes, I know. But think about this. We have a president here of the United States of America that's supposed to lead the nation, and he's not. He's putting the nation in a hole, as you can tell. Uh, he's totally turning this, He's he's as he said, and he made this promise, fundamentally transforming the United States of America. And he is doing that on a daily basis. But how can anybody sit back and allow this president to do what he does? How? How can he, being who he is, not have a a, a conscience to even convict him of the things that he's doing? See, I don't get that. I don't get that at all. (laughs) Okay? Okay. I just don't understand it. Oh, and he's not the only one who's being a crybaby and 
bitching about things going on and doing everything they can to tear down their own country. Saudi dictator killing hundreds of civilians with support from Washington moves to gunning down domestic anti-war protesters. Five points on Saudi Arabia that, quote, U.S. officials in the establishment media are neglecting to talk about, unquote. So, Saudi Arabia, supposed to be our ally, supposed to be our, well, I shouldn't say ally, let's put it this way, business partner. Okay. How can a country of ancient heritage, how can we cozy up to a country like that? Hmm? We can't. Okay. We can't, all right? Five points on Saudi Arabia that U.S. officials in the establishment media are are neglecting to talk about. Number one, Sharia law runs the country, and they want that here. Number two, Saudi is an authoritarian dictatorship. There are no national elections, no parties, no rights. They want that here. Number three, people are publicly beheaded in the kingdom. They want that here. Number four, human rights for Saudi women are among the worst in the world. Yes, they are, and they want that here. Number five, the monarchy is a cash machine for terrorists. It's on the records, it's on the books, and it's true. Chris Ernesto assembled and gives details on each point here. I'm going to put this on the uh, Wayne S. Pierce Show Facebook page because I believe that this is an eye-opener. <clears throat> and I got to tell you, if there's anybody in the United States that wants any of this, that thinks it's good for some strange reason to have this type of government that the Saudi Arabians have. If anybody here wants that in America, I got, I got a suggestion. Why don't you move to Saudi Arabia? I'll help you pack. The Saudi dictatorship is a recipient of the biggest arms sale in U.S. history secured by Obama in 2010. CNN reports in 2010, quote, U.S. planes, uh, U.S. plans $60 billion 20-year arms deal with Saudi Arabia. You tell me how that says there's not going to be a war in the Middle East. And that did not include the nearly $1 billion worth of banned cluster bombs Obama sold to the Saudi dictator to help him stay in power. Foreign Policy 2013, quote, U.S. shipping thousands of cluster bombs to Saudis despite global ban, unquote. The massive influx of weaponry came across the U.S. cable leaked in 2009, stated, quote, donors in Saudi Arabia constitute the most significant source of funding to Sunni terrorist groups worldwide, unquote. According to Amnesty International, Saudi Arabia got more repressive under the previous dictator who just died and was placed uh, replaced by a corrupt billionaire, uh, Salman bin Ab- Abdullah, Abdulaziz, who stands accused of personally supporting Al-Qaeda, as many in the Saudi royal family and in country in general are known by the U.S. to do. Salman lashes uh, writers and rape victims, publicly chops people's heads off, and co- uh, coordinating with Washington, burns women and children alive in terrorist attacks that kill hundreds. 
And now, the Saudi dictator is ordering his goons to open fire on Saudis protesting Sa uh, Salman and Washington's illegal act on Yemen. Anti-war, quote, Two killed, 30 protesters wounded in Saudi, uh, as Saudi forces attack anti-war rally. Washington also continues to back, for example, Israel and Egypt, each of which have recently massacred thousands. Washington is currently sanctioning almost 30 countries, including Venezuela, which has uh, received over 8 million signatures on a petition condemning U.S. aggression and Iran. Venezuela is a democracy, and Iran, as noted by Newsweek, has, in the sense of elite-run countries such as the U.S. and China, quote-unquote, democratic institutions. Saudi dictators laugh at such notions. Neither a mystery nor an example of inconsistency, Washington massively supports the Saudi regime, but sanctions and overthrows democracies and nominally de democratic countries because Saudi Arabia collaborates with Washington on what Washington itself, a brutal oligarchy that guns down around a thousand of its own people per year, not to mention kills millions abroad, cares about. This article was written by on washingtonsblog.com posted on infowars.com so you got something bad to say about infowars.com then you start looking around at their resources they're picking stuff up too just like me so you're going to hate my show because I uh, read an article from infowars.com that came from washingtonsblog.com huh seriously I'll put the Washington's blog article up right in the comment section where I got the InfoWars article. Same article, two different sites. Okay? I look at it this way, people. You better open your damn eyes. That's all I'm saying. You think you got a problem now? You ain't seen nothing yet. Now, let's go to drudgereport.com. They got a lot of a lot of the latest news there. I don't know what else to tell you folks. I really really don't. Okay. I mean, if you're not going to open your eyes, if you're not going to see what's going on, if you don't have uh, even the thought of trying to figure out what's going on to try to protect yourself and your family, then I think you should move to Saudi Arabia. I think you need to move to China and Russia or Mexico or Venezuela or North Korea. I really do. Because you obviously don't really care about peace, freedom, security, and liberty in the, in the land that you grew up in, if you grew up here at all. And for all those that came here legally, thank you. You're a part of the United States America, uh, United States of America, and its in its culture. So I hope you enjoy. For those illegal aliens out there. I'll help you pack. That's all I got to say. Now, I know that uh, a lot of people, I was talking to someone quite a few years ago, and they thought I was racist. Until I saw them again, and I had a Mexican friend and a black friend, and they looked at me, and yeah, if you could see the anger in their eyes, you know, they just, oh, they were polite, but, you know, it happens, folks. I'm going to take a, a a little break here, not 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 long, just, just about a minute and a half, so I'll be back. Don't worry, I'm not going away permanently, okay? I'm not going to get Guantanamo, but I'm okay, I'll be back. American Liberty Radio at USA.com. American Liberty Radio at USA.com.
telling you the truth, whether you like it or not. The Pete Santilli Show on the Gorilla Media Network at GorillaMediaNetwork.com or GMN.is. No elitist drivel, no media spin. Logic over emotion, fact over fiction. The home of independent conservative thought. The conservative voice with your host, Jeff Wagner, only on the Conservative Radio Network. This is the American Liberty Radio Network. Email us at AmericanLibertyRadio at USA.com. Hello, folks. Welcome back to the American Liberty Radio Network. Welcome back to the Wayne S. Spear Show podcast. The live show, the Views Express Live, will be coming back. Just give me a few more days to tighten things up. I'll be okay. No problem. Hey, if you're uh, if you've got something going on in the Liberty Movement, or if you've got some views of what's happening in the world. I want to interview you, talk to you. All you got to do is send me your information to American Liberty Radio at USA.com. American Liberty Radio at USA.com. If, you have, if you're in the Reno, Tahoe, Carson City area and you want to be interviewed, go ahead and email me. Let me know. American Liberty Radio at USA.com. American Liberty Radio at USA.com. So what do we know, folks? What do we know? What do we know? What do we see? What do we know? <clears throat> now, <clears throat> how can, and I'm going to ask you this question. You, you can answer me if you want. It's okay. But how can we keep doing what we're doing knowing that the politicians don't give a rats patoot about us how can we continue to just go on and say well you know everything's fine how can we do that okay i don't i i i don't get it i honestly don't get it and I don't I don't understand why we have a broken border as much as we do. Now in the beginning, yeah, I, I understood it. I, I understood that it was <clears throat> I understood that it was uh, uh, you know part of what it was. Okay? I understood that. Because we didn't have enough border patrol, we didn't have enough people, we didn't. So I understood that part of it. But now it's like it's an open door or border. It's just open. It, it's you know, and and the, and and the border patrol are not. I hate when they pop up like that. Just audio just automatically starts. So I'm not going to Drudge Report. I'm going to go elsewhere. Um, it wasn't drudgereport.com. It was some article I clicked on and they automatically just load up the video. You know what I mean? So anyway, but why are the borders open? The borders are open because there's not enough people. That's number one. Number two, because that's what Washington, D.C. wants. Do you know why? Because socialism, because uh, Marxism, because of a dictatorship, because of everything <clears throat> that... Uh, They want more voters. Basically what it is. They want more voters. Period. They want to push away the the, the Democrats specifically. They want to push away the Republicans. They they just we're gonna take over, you guys just go sit in the corner like your whiny little bitchy ass selves do. 
And that's what Republicans do. They just whine and, and, and complain and, oh, when we get in, we'll do this. They haven't done a damn thing, okay? I'm just saying it. They capitulated. They rolled over on their backs. Oh, okay, go ahead. Do whatever. You know? So, it's pointless. It's pointless to have parties. It's pointless to have anybody in a position of power that will not listen to the people. It's pointless. We, the people, we, the people, you and I, in America, the citizens born and raised right here, not from another country and planted here, but born and raised right here. We, the people, can close these damn borders in less than six months. But do we do it? No. Because we're whiny, pansy-ass bitches is why. Oh, we'll complain. We'll, we'll, we'll sit on Twitter. We'll sit on Facebook. We'll do all that. We'll complain. We won't do nothing. We won't even get up out of our chair to go do anything. Because we're cowards. Not me, and not a lot of people I associate with. They're ready, locked and loaded, and full of piss and vinegar to get down to the border to close it up. But they know that once they show that aggression, the military is going to be all over them. Our military... Our military that was asked by generals, that was asked by, or excuse me, that was asked by the president. These generals that were asked by the president if they would shoot American citizens. And when they said no, they got fired. They were relieved of duty. These are the same people in Washington, D.C. that want the borders open. It doesn't matter what party they're in or, or what banner they fly. They want this to be a communistic society under the rule of law based upon the charters of the United Nations, period. Don't believe me? Go look it up. And it's kind of sad I almost feel sad for, for the rest of the American people when someone like Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia, KGB communist, encourages the American citizens here, you and I, to defend our freedoms. It's, it's a, what? Well, let me ask you this. And I'll put this out here. Just as a, just as a, <clears throat> in the form of a hypothetical, we have, or, or let's put you in this position. You have a home. You have everything you need. You got a car. You got a job. Your family's nice and all this. Somebody comes into your home and says, hey, guess what? We're going to do this now. Could be a relative, could be a friend, whatever. We're going to do this now. What do you say to them? Well, I hope you kicked their ass out of the house because that's exactly what we need to do with the people in Washington, D.C. Because they're telling us that we have to cater to them. That's bull. We don't cater to nobody. We don't bow down to the enemy. We don't negotiate with terrorists. Unfortunately, we have a terrorist in the White House right now. We do what we need to do to protect this country, our, our counties, our states, our cities, our neighbors, our co-workers, everything. We need to do that right now. And if anybody has brains in any other country that fights for peace, freedom, security, and liberty in their country, they do the same thing. Let's see how far that goes. Bottom of the hour. Take a little break. I'll be right back. Don't go away, man, because I got... Some stuff to share with you. Talk to you in a minute. If you've got uh, questions, comments, concerns, even if you disagree with me, the burden of proof is on you. Ask me anything you like. No question is off limits. If I don't know, I'll tell you I don't know. American Liberty Radio at USA.com. American Liberty Radio at USA.com. This is the American Liberty Radio Network.
the reality underneath the honesty. Live Truth Radio with Brian Lang. LiveTruthRadio.com Radio Rock 92.6 The Blitz is your home for all the independent music and movies you need. For more information, go to RadioRockTheBlitz.blogspot.com What we see is not reality. It is distorted reality. Go to Distorted Reality with Nick Tucker on Facebook. Telling you the truth, whether you like it or not. The Pete Santilli Show on the Gorilla Media Network at GorillaMediaNetwork.com or GMN.is. This is the American Liberty Radio Network. Email us at AmericanLibertyRadio at USA.com. Hey folks, how you doing? This is the Wayne S. Pierce Show podcast right here on the American Liberty Radio Network. Yes, I'm back. Anyway, what can I say? <clears throat> there are <clears throat> quite a few things that I want to share. Okay? I talked about the border. I talk, and I hope, um, I hope, I hope I encourage you to <clears throat> do what you must do. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because once the borders are completely and totally shattered, <clears throat> You're all on your own, folks. <clears throat> You're all on your own. Preparing for executive amnesty, de Blasio announces task force to combat immigration fraud. Quote, the president's immigration reforms will initiate an economic, political, and social transformation for our cities, unquote. Bill de Blasio, mayor of New York City. In conjunction with New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio's effort to support President Obama's executive amnesty, the city and the New York Attorney General's office are stepping up efforts to combat immigration uh, scams. Thursday, de Blasio and Attorney General Eric Schne uh, Schneiderman announced a joint task force to prevent fraudsters from taking advantage of immigration or immigrants before Obama's executive amnesty is put into place. Let me read that again, because I'll tell you what came to mind. Thursday, de Blasio and Attorney General Eric Schneiderman announced a joint task force to prevent fraudsters from taking advantage of immigrants before Obama's executive amnesty is put into place. Fraudsters. Who might that be? According to the mayor's office, the executive actions of illegal immigrants and impetus to seek legal help to access the immigration benefits is so in so doing making that population that much more susceptible to fraud. In other words, the demand is high and everybody's going to go to the full extreme to take advantage of the high demand of human resources crossing the border. The president's immigration reforms will initiate an economic, political, and social transformation of our cities and our uh, country, but unfortunately, this progress also brings new opportunities for criminals who prey on the most vulnerable among us. 
de Blasio said in a statement Thursday. <clears throat> I'm going to put that up on the uh, Wayne S. Pierce Show Facebook, pa- <clears throat> Facebook page as soon as I'm able to breathe. <laughs> <coughs> Anyway, sorry, a little something going on there didn't quite agree with me. I think it's Bill de Blasio. I find it incredibly odd, and I say odd out of the sense of, you know, dog hearing strain sound tilting head odd. I find it odd that... um, that people don't care. I find it odd that people in America, the vast majority of the detractors of truth and knowledge and facts, do not really care. They don't care. They don't care one way or another. They don't care whether or not the borders are open. They don't care whether or not they're going to lose their jobs to foreign workers. They don't care whether they're, you know, hundreds of thousands of of Muslims are being, you know, uh, radical jihadists are being brought over here. Not all Muslims are bad. I'm going to point that out. Not all Muslims are bad. It's just the ones that are in the news that are chopping people's heads off and all this. Those people need to be put down like rabid dogs. And it doesn't matter because people here don't care about any of that. All they give a crap about is going to the nearest bar and watching their football games. Okay? Illegals jump border at faster rate. Immigration officials warn that they expected another surge as the weather improved. Investment watch. The second wave of that's investmentwatch.com. That's where this article's from, but posted on Infowars.com. Say what you want about Infowars. They get information too. So if you can do better, do it. If not, shut your pie hole. The second wave of unaccompanied illegal immigrant children has begun, with more than 3,000 of them surging across the Mexican border into the U.S. last month, the highest rate since the peak of last summer's crisis, and warning that another rough season could be ahead. Immigration officials warned that they, uh, that they expected another surge as the weather improved, although the numbers are down at some 40% compared to last year's uh, frantic pace that sparked a political crisis for the Obama administration. Fiscal year 2015 is shaping up to mark the second biggest surge on, uh, on record. Authorities, um, (laughs) authorities reporting or authorities report having captured 15,647 children traveling without parents who tried to jump the border in the first six months of the fiscal year through this point In 2014, they had apprehended 28,579. Read more investmentwatchblog.com. I'm going to put this up there too because, and I'm going to say this, and disagree with me all you want. You got to prove your point. You got to prove yourself right. You got the information? Show it. If you don't, shut your pie hole. Yeah, I'm a little harsh, people. I'm in your face. Because I know that you get it. I know that you understand it. I know that you're very much aware of what's going on. But you use the excuse of, Oh, I don't want to talk about that stuff because I don't want it ruining my day. When your city and town and and little townships and and your neighborhoods are are overrun with, with hundreds of illegal people, thousands of illegal people, getting homes that you wanted, renting homes that you wanted to have, or buying homes you wanted to have, then maybe, just maybe, you uh, that might shed some light on your illogic statement. I don't want it ruining my day. You have had your day ruined already. I just want to live in peace. Then do what you can. To acquire that peace. Freedom is not 
something thrusted upon us. We had to fight for it. Freedom was not something voted on that was a part and parcel of today's society. We had to fight for it. We had to demand it. We had to defend it. And we still do today, 238 years later. 239 years later, folks. The gun debate and the civil rights debate are over. They were over back then. Okay? That was it. You can debate anything you want. You can have your own theories. I'm going to forget this break here. I'm not going to forget the break. I'm going to forego the break and, and not do it. So if, if anybody's running this on their network, I'm just letting you know right now. Every debate that we have starts out with a theory. Every theory can be proven except for... Except for a theory that is unfounded. Now remember that. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I'm a social commentator looking at the information that's there, digging through it to find the, 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 the basis by which articles and people are saying what they say. Guess what? <clears throat> Been doing it for over 30 years, going to continue to do it, and I'm going to continue to get it up in your face so that you can see, hey, the sun is shining outside of your house, but you have your curtains closed. Why don't you open them and enjoy the day? That's a metaphor, folks. You know what that is? Or I could just go this way. There's militarized law enforcement in your neighborhood ready to take you, uh, break up your family and take you away to a FEMA camp somewhere in America. And guess what? Maybe take you to Guantanamo. I don't know. But they're in your neighborhood. You don't like it? I don't care. You better, you better take care of yourself. Now, I'm not saying that there are militarized law enforcement in your neighborhood right now. Don't get confused. I'm using that as a hypothetical situation to explain to you how important it is for you to pay attention to what's going on around you. Unless you're in Southern California or Texas or other places where Jade Helm 15 is taking hold and martial law <clears throat> may be in the future for those cities. Go look it up, Jade Helm 15. <clears throat> it doesn't have to be It doesn't have to be It doesn't have to be this way, folks. You want peace, freedom, liberty, and security in the United States of America? You have to get up off your ass and go protect this country. I don't care if you're part of a militia. I don't care if you gather 10 people together to stand out on a corner somewhere in your downtown area with signs protesting what you protest. That's a start, but that's not enough. Now, I know a lot of people would say, well, what are you doing? I'm doing this show. I also get out. I see what's happening. Let's put it this way. Define the word reconnaissance. Okay? I'm just a social commentator with an online radio show who's telling you what's going on. <clears throat> I think it's your responsibility to go figure out the rest. But I hope, and you're going to have to tell me whether or not I am encouraging you I hope I'm encouraging you to go out and do that. I know that Brian Lang over at LiveTruthRadio.com has had some issues in the past several weeks. And that's why his show isn't on. So keep him in your prayers and positive thoughts. Live Truth Radio tells it like it is. And he says... Stand up, speak out, and get involved. That's Brian Lang over at LiveTruthRadio.com. Pete Santilli over at the Guerrilla Media Network says, uh, is telling you the truth whether you like it or not. And that's the way it is. I don't 
know it all, I'll tell you that right now. But I know enough to tell you what's happening around your neighborhoods and what's happening in your neck of the woods. And I can tell you right now, you better get up and start paying attention to it. And if you sit there and just want to throw stuff at your computer screen or, or want to throw your iPhone uh, on the other side of the room or you just want to, you know, send me a nasty email, you know, that's entirely up to you. But just because you close your eyes doesn't mean the bad things are going to go away. Just because you ignore it doesn't mean that your life is going to be, you know, sunshine and roses all day. No, I'm not a fear monger. I'm a realist. Do me a favor. And I really, really, really want to hear from you. Walk around downtown. Take, don't take your car. Parking's probably a bear where you live. Take the bus or some other transportation or whatever. If you have a car, that's fine. You know, whatever. You can walk. You can take a bike. I don't. It doesn't matter. Go downtown in your area and just walk around for about a half a day or whatever, two, three hours. Just walk around. Do some shopping, window shopping. Just walk around. Watch people. And pay attention to what's going on and pay attention to where they go and pay attention to what they do and also look around for things that seem out of place that you never saw before downtown. Guarantee you, your, 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 your little chill bumps are going to go up. You're going to get goosebumps. That's when your body and everything else is telling you something isn't right. And you better have the means to protect yourself. I find it incredibly odd that a bill was passed here in Reno, Nevada to allow students to conceal carry on campus. I hope that every college does that. As a matter of fact, any state, and I've said this before, any state, any governor, any state legislature who has any proposals whatsoever for gun control, because that's what it's about, controlling you. I hope that you people in each of your states look at your governor and your legislation and say this, you will not pass gun control laws in our state because it is a violation of the Second Amendment ratified by Congress December 15th, 1791. The gun debate is over, period. I know you may not remember all that, but say something similar, if you would. Or say whatever you want. You have freedom of speech, go ahead. They can't stop you from speaking. I don't know, but I have a tendency to get up in people's faces, or have you noticed? I have a tendency to put stuff in people's faces to make them to make them pay attention. But see, you people are a lot smarter than that, I'm I'm presuming because you obviously know what's going on. <coughs> Excuse me. But the question is the Question is, what are you doing about it? The question is, how do you how do you how are you going to take care of the situation around you, including protecting and defending your rights? And this is true in any other country, too, because I would, and I'm going to say this, I would assume that people in other countries like Pakistan, the Netherlands, Mexico, all that, want peace, freedom, security, and liberty for themselves and their country. Because once you have it for yourself, that will radiate out to the rest of the neighborhood, the rest of the county, the rest of the city, and you will have freedom. But how are you going to do that? I like to tell people, you're going to do what you believe is right in your heart to do to benefit you and your family. 
And you seriously have to think about that. Yes, there are risks involved. Yes, there are challenges ahead. But if you set your mind on the right goal, I don't think you'll have a problem. But that's, again, totally and entirely up to you. I find it impossible to talk to people who do not understand the very basic and the very simplistic functions of society and culture in America. I, I, I cannot fathom, I cannot even understand <clears throat> why these people that I talk to are in any way, shape, or form not paying attention to what is going on. No, I'm not smarter than anybody else. I, I know that there are people smarter than me, and I know they have their own perspective of things. So I'm okay with that. You just go from there. You know? So let me get into this. I, I, I know I ranted for about 15 minutes there. Sorry. Eh, my apologies to you because you wanted to hear <laughs> some more news, right? So uh, let's go here. A lot of people would say that the illegals are taking American jobs. From what Rob Weil, it's W I L E, Rob Weil from Fusion. Dot com. I believe that's from Fusion. Let me go look. Yes, Fusion.net. Sorry. My bad. God, I hate that phrase. Sorry. <sighs> immigrants. One in eight undocumented, uh, undocumented immigrants in the U.S. now has a white-collar job. One in eight undocumented immigrants in the U.S. now have now has a white-collar job. Rob Weil, the share of unauthorized immigrant workers with management and professional jobs grew to 13% in 2012 from 10% in 2007, an overall increase of 180,000, according to new data from the Pew Research Center. Meanwhile, the share of uh, the share uh, with construction or production jobs declined to 29% from 34%. Quote, in a reflection of changes in the overall economy since the Great Recession, the U.S. unauthorized immigrant workforce now holds fewer blue-collar jobs and more white-collar ones than it did before in 2007-2009 recession, unquote, the Pew uh, Center Research Center says. Despite these advances, undocumented workers' representation among all white-collar occupations remains low, just 2%. Agriculture has replaced construction as the industry with the largest share of undocumented workers. 16% of all ag workers were undocumented as of 2012 and most recent year for which data was available. That compares with 12% of for construction. In 2008, according to Pew, they, co uh, they comprised 14% of the construction industry and just 13% of farming. Quote, unauthorized immigrant workers uh, remain... Uh, concentrated in low-skilled jobs, much more so than U.S.-born workers, according to the new estimates, which are based on government data. 2012, 62% held service, construction, and production jobs, twice the share of U.S.-born workers who did. The 13% share with management uh, or professional jobs is less than half of the 36% of U.S.-born workers in those occupations, unquote. I'm going to put this on the Wayne S. Pierce Show so you can check that out yourself. And I want you to understand that I'm not against anybody coming to this country and wanting to be free. I am pro-legal immigration. You want to come to this country and assimilate and become an American? You go right ahead and do that. Do it legally. I am against illegal immigration. Okay. All right. I really appreciate how people want to come to this country and be a part of it. 
because they're trying to leave their dictatorial societies. But don't come here illegally and expect me to cater to your, uh, you know, to, to want to pay for your welfare or cater to your religion. It ain't going to happen. You can pack your crap and get the hell out of the country now. In uh, several years ago in, in San Diego or down in that area of Southern California, there was a neighborhood or, or a group of homes that had a bunch of illegal aliens in there and, and a bunch of legal aliens as well whose families were still in Mexico. Well, when uh, Governor uh, Jan Brewer signed in that SB, was it 1044 or something like that, whatever it was, and it passed, that neighborhood in Southern California packed up and left. That's what I heard. And that's what I saw. Well, let me tell you something to all you illegal workers. I don't care where the hell you're from, Mexico, wherever, I don't care. Get out. Get out. You didn't do it right. You're illegal. Bye. Go find another country somewhere that will accept you. We don't. We do because of the Democratic bullcrap and the socialists in Washington, D.C. They're just going to open the border and let you walk in. And we're going to have to pay for it. Well, guess what? Get out. Get the hell out now. I'll help you pack. Now, Again, I prefaced that with the facts that I am pro-legal immigration. You do something illegal, you're going to pay it. You're going to pay the price. You do the crime, you pay the time. Okay? You come here in this country illegally, I don't give a crap where you're from, you're committing a crime. Get the hell out. Nevada is notorious for illegal immigration. 25% of Nevada, or, or a little bit less, I think it's like 23, is illegal Im immigrants here from everywhere. Not from Mexico, but mostly from Mexico, but they're from everywhere. <clears throat> but Nevada is just, oh, hey, who cares? They're here, we might as well take care of them. Not on my tax dime, you don't. Now, if they were legal and had the paperwork and came and said, yes, I'm going to be an American, and six or seven or eight years later they raise their hand and become an American citizen, <laughs> I'll buy them coffee. Other than that, get the hell out. I'm done with the bullcrap, folks. I'm done with PC, political correctness. I am the most politically incorrect person you will ever meet and talk to. You don't like it? This ain't the show for you. But if it is, great. Thank you for listening. Email me, American Liberty Radio at USA.com. American Liberty Radio at USA.com. You can go to WayneSPierce.com. Check things out. Support American Liberty Radio Network if you'd like. Because we're moving to the next level. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're going to take it to the next level. And we're going to be more open and in your face. That's a risk and a challenge that I'm willing to take. So email me, American Liberty Radio at USA.com, American Liberty Radio at USA.com. And if you want to sponsor these podcasts or the live show when it comes back, email me. I'm not out to break your advertising budget. Contact me and we'll work something out. American Liberty Radio at USA.com. American Liberty Radio at USA.com. Folks, it's always great to come to you. I have, was a little frustrated this morning, I'm, and if it sounded like it, <laughs> so there you go. Uh, anywho, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. And remember this liberty is the road, and freedom is the goal. Talk to you later.